Modern music systems. Reach out to space. The hottest clubs in town are playing postmodern music. Straight from the West Coast. Postmodern music. For St. Louis's party people, you finally have a choice. Postmodern music systems. Parties in St. Louis will never be the same with postmodern music systems. It's not that tired old Seeger, Springsteen, or Cougar. It's Postmodern Music Systems. Call 851-2899. Featuring the best in postmodern groups like The Cure, Nine Inch Nails, The KLF, New Order, Public Enemy, and Erasure. Call Postmodern Music Systems. To book your next dance or party, call 851-2899. Postmodern Music Systems. KYMC is proud to have Postmodern Music Systems as a sponsor of its programming.
stick glue to the TV set all night. And every night, why go into the outside world at all? It's such a fright. We got nothing better to do than watch TV and have a couple of brews. TV news shows, what it's like out there. It's a scare. You can go out if you want. doesn't work. It's broken! What are we gonna do tonight? This isn't fair! We're away! We've got nothing left to do. Let's go no TV and just a couple of brews. What are we gonna talk about? Chanting 
a small sum of all. All right. Let's have the quack, quack, quack crew up here. Ridiculous. Quack, 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 quack. Obviously, you have not had enough bonus cups yet. Quack, 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 quack. Drink a couple more because here we go. The face master will change you. He has the rules that you've been here by. Do not wallow in crime. We shall achieve all. You must live. Descendants with all logistics. Before that, we heard requested music by Black Flag TV Party and Nirvana with On a Plane and started off with Cult with Phoenix. The Cult, that is, with Phoenix. Well, damn, I guess I can't play any Cult now for the whole night. Uh, you can play some more Cult. No. That's okay. You, you spoiled it. <laughs> Should have told me. That's all right. I only brought all my cult discs. We'll play some more. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm just giving you a hard time. Yeah. What is that? I don't know. I'm you hear that? I'm hearing it too. I think that's uh, yeah. the radio. It's gone now. Weird, all right. weird, bizarre, weird. Yeah, it's because there's no microphones or headphones. We. Uh, what show are they listening to, by the way? Uh, uh, off the Edge. <laughs> I had to think about it. It's been a long time. <laughs> off the Edge. Girl called up, wanted to know who that was. It was the wonderful Descendants doing all logistics. I don't know if they were all at that point or not. They could have been all, so uh, I don't know. All is the same thing as Descendants, except that all kind of formed after Descendants, after Milo left. But I think Milo then came back to uh, all, but they kept the name. I don't know. I, I could be wrong. You could be wrong. Yes. So all is kind of a post-Descendants band, kind of like Love and Rockets versus Bauhaus, that kind of thing. Right, versus Tones on Tail. Got it. Got it. So Descendants are no longer. Well, I don't know. The Descendants live on forever. The Descendants are all. I see. I got it. Okay. Thou shalt co covet thy neighbor's food. So what do you really think of my tattoo? Oh, Joey got a tattoo, guys. This is incredible. He's got this evil-looking, uh, evil, viney-looking thing on his leg. I mean, some sort of uh, thing. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a satanic worshiper kind of <laughs> Well, deal. it doesn't have any crosses or anything. Mm, but, I mean, you're just your general impression of the design is, is one of evil. Evilness, right. Evilness. Right. That's interesting. Because yeah. I looked at it, and I kind of thought I saw, like, a skull face in there. But it's kind of abstract, actually. It just kind of has, like, flames kind of... I don't know. I like it, though. It's I didn't want to get... green, right? I can't remember. Is it green? green? Blue? It's something? black. It's black? It's black. Oh, okay, yeah. it's black. Well, oh, I, I meant, like, dark green. No, black. And I didn't want to get, like... Oh, that's your skin that's green. <laughs> I didn't want to get a <laughs> cartoon character or anything, because I, I might outgrow it. So I got something abstract. Why didn't you get uh, Mother... Mine like a heart. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I don't think so. Bart did that, and then he later had laser surgery. Man, he had moth on his arm for a while, right? Yeah. <laughs> moth, because he couldn't afford the ER. So. Well, his mom grabbed him out of there before he got it finished. Yep. Yeah, that was cool. The yeah. Simpsons. I don't watch that anymore. I don't either. Yeah, I don't I watch watched any it. TV anymore, thanks wow. to that last song you played. What, TV Party? Yeah. That wasn't the last song, but... Okay. It's an oldie. I'm tripping. Leave me alone. Um, you don't watch TV anymore. You don't watch 90210? <laughs> that <laughs> joke of a show? Yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah, I just think uh, that uh, that show is just like... We talked about this four yeah. weeks ago, didn't we? It's like deja vu. Yeah, but it was more than four weeks ago. But Brandon's just so cute, isn't he? Yeah, those sideburns, they kill me. <laughs> Actually, I'm thinking about growing sideburns, but I don't know. You should. Everybody's growing sideburns. See, I have sideburns. Yeah. Do, you, yeah. do you see that today I have not shaved where the sideburns is? So today is the first day of letting it grow, but I think they're kind of long. Really? I don't know. Are you we'll sure see. that's not like four weeks of sideburns? No. <laughs> I, I, I can grow a beard, Joey, unlike somebody else in this room. 
<laughs> get out of here, man. You, I, I had a full beard right before I came in. I well, that's, shaved. that's good. I bet you drive a, a 1970 Impala, too, don't no, you? No, they, they, lost, they lost my luggage on Amtrak, so I've been waiting for my shaving cream to come in the mail. And You know, they sell that in stores now. Yeah, but I, <laughs> I, I refuse to go out and buy something I already have. Oh, okay. I just have a thing about that. All right. I, I did see two uh, Faith No More discs of the exact same issue in your rack at home. No. No way. Oh, you know, the story behind that was I, I bought one, and then I left it in my mom's um, Jeep, the oh. CD. And then I went And home. I needed one really bad. So. Well, and then I was in L.A., and I had a Faith No More fix, and I had to just listen to that. Okay. So I bought the second one, and then I never got the first one back. Like like anybody gives a... Five seven six nine five nine six. Give us a call, and uh, man, I'm I'm glad to be back. I, I just want to hear some some people's voices out there. The people people that listen to us just to remind me that we're not actually sitting here in a studio all by ourselves like playing music for ourselves that was incredible last week lots of people were calling i really want to thank you guys do it again do it again we can answer the phone especially when two of us are here it's no problem we can get to the phone we only have one mic and we're sharing the mic and um it's kind of like well never mind actually there's two mics so we can, I can hold the, the um, speaker thing up to the mic too. So like three, three things can share one mic. Don't try that with a condom, by the way. Hey, I saw on the news today, female condoms getting approved as we speak. <coughs> uh, yes. Called reality. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Female seems condoms. Like That's a great idea. <laughs> it seems like it would kind of turn inside out or something. I hate the pressure, <laughs> the pressure of having to deal with them. Um, I mean, you know, if women get pregnant, then maybe that responsibility should also be on their end. But who am I to say? I'm just trying to be a lazy little jerk that I am. KYMC, I'm talking to a box. Are you there? Phone caller, are you there? Okay, there's nothing in the box. But there is a line, too, ringing. Let's just hit C's there and let's see what happens. Okay. Okay, there's nothing going on there. Let's move on to the music. Um, no, I'm kidding. Dave, you there? Yeah, we're here. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty good. I really thought you were going to go back into music there. <laughs> well, Dave's been cock-a-doodle-dooing all night tonight. I don't know. It's quite interesting. It's, it's my chicken outfit I have on today. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was at Kentucky Fried Chicken earlier today, and they said, wait a minute, you are Diamond Dave. And I said, yes, I am Diamond Dave. And it's like... You're doing that high point thing tonight, right? I said, yeah, right. I will be down there. It's like, could you do us a big favor and wear the chicken costume? <laughs> well, it's like, well, I don't know. I don't know if I can wear the chicken costume or not. It's like, well, well, we'll give you a free bucket. Well, so Joe, like, yeah. Joey, you wouldn't, you wouldn't quite believe this, guys, but uh, uh, Mike, you, you'll have to come down and see this because Dave has got his flock of seagulls hairdo going right now, and it's uh, it's quite interesting. We what? Just, oh my uh, God! People just hanging out here by the bar. I don't bar. know what What's that is. Name? What's a flock of seagulls hairdo Crazy look like? Crazy Mary. Crazy Mary. Is it? No. Oh, it's Crazy Mary, and you are? Uh, her friend Jane. And her friend Jane. So we got Jane and Crazy Mary down here. Are you having fun down here tonight? Yes. Pretty packed house, wouldn't you say? Yes. Is, uh, did you guys come down to see all three bands, or just, do you have a favorite? Favorite's Clara Bell. They're playing now. Yeah, incredible. We were just going to talk about it. It's, it's one thing that's... Uh, uh, to have a, a female lead in a, in a group, but there's actually a, the, the bass player is the lead singer for this group called Curr Bell, and the uh, the lead guitar player is also female, and it's uh, they've got a good, tight, real good sound down here. The uh, the drummer is a guy who's got half his face painted, and the uh, no. the drums are set up uh, sideways on the side of the stage. So uh, there's a lot of people down here. It's uh, quite a good packed house for uh, for the high point. There's all kinds of other bands that aren't playing tonight that are down here. Uh, we've uh, we've seen Maureen from uh, Small Ball Paul. She informed us that they're in the studios right now, putting out some uh, some music. Also, uh, I've seen uh, some guys from the Neverminds down here. I think I see uh, John from uh, from uh, Body Found across the uh, across the way over there too. There's just all kinds of bands down look, here. Look, it's Martin Gore from the Pesh Mode. Uh, and uh, well, David Bowie was down here a little earlier too, but uh, he left. He had to leave early. He had to catch a Concord or something like that. But anyway, just all kinds of excitement. I got Greg over there. Uh, Greg's across the room right now. Greg, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you just fine, Glenn. Uh, having a really good time tonight. Uh, Kerr Bell from Columbia is on right now. 
and it is so crowded in here that you can't really hear them. All you can hear is drums right now. You can't hear a whole lot of bass and the guitar, but uh, they're a very interesting band. They have a female guitar player and a female bassist up front, and then in the back, they have a drummer, a male drummer, who has his drum set turned to the side, and he has his face painted half black, half white. Yeah, Greg, Greg can, you, can you hear me from over here? Yeah, I can hear you from over there. Okay. Um, the, um, uh, the, the, I, I would say the drummer has that, that Star Trek look, wouldn't you think? Yeah, that Star Trek episode where the guy was like half black and half white, and then he had a twin who was half white, half black. That's what the guy looks like. So. It's kind of a whole concept thing going on. But uh, this group is Kerbell, and they are from Columbia, Missouri, as well as Ditchwich, who opened up the set. Yeah. This band is, uh, I would say, very Cocteau Twins-ish, with a little bit of a harder edge, kind of a... Kind of, kind of Cocteau Twins, but not quite so sugary. More, uh, more. Say, if you mix Cocteau Twins and Joy Division, maybe. I, I yeah, think maybe, you get them uh, exploding. Throw some Mary Danish in there, possibly. Yeah. Possibly. So maybe some Blake Babies. Why not? Let's just throw everybody in there. Glenn, uh, Glenn, do me a favor. Well, Make your way over Abba. towards the blonde at the bar. Oh, goodness gracious. Bring her over my way. <laughs> <laughs> well, poor Dave. He's stuck in the back near the equipment right there. I can't quite see Dave where he's at. But uh, I'm on the other side of the room, and Greg, stand up for a second. I, wave, will you? Because I can't quite see you. Oh, there you are. Okay. Um, yeah, there's a lot of people down here at the High Point. We're located at uh, right on McCausland near Clayton and Skinker Road. And uh, we, we've heard uh, Dit Ditchwich tonight from Columbia. This is the Fay Record release party tonight. There's uh, three groups that are on 7-inch vinyl, that's a 45, uh, and you can buy those down here, and you can tell everybody that you went to the high point tonight, and you got 7 inches for $3. So anyway, <laughs> it's, uh, it, you know, we, we see a lot of people down here. These are actually colored records. One is yellow, one is blue, one is red, and it's a lot of things, so uh, that's sort of the slogan tonight. You can buy seven inches for three dollars down here at the High Point. Uh, any other observations that you've seen tonight, Greg? Uh, well, no, we're just waiting for the uh, the Boo-Rays are going to be on, going on pretty soon. Local favorites, the Boo-Rays. Had a chance to talk to them tonight, and they've been in the studio. Besides the album they're releasing tonight, they're going to be releasing a tape and possibly CD within the next month or two, so uh, good things are happening for the Boo-Rays as well. And uh, I don't know if we can fit any more people into the high point. I don't know if I've ever seen it this crowded. So just everybody's having a good time. And I uh, want to say hi to Mike and Joey. I hope you guys are having a good show. And uh, play the new Social Distortion. It's in the programmed album. It's great. Thanks. Okay, thank okay, you, Greg. We will. All right, well, Greg is now lost. I don't see him now. It's like the, the crowd is pretty well taking him over. Dave, can you see me? I'm standing on this uh, arm in this chair. Yeah, Glenn, I can see you. Joey, do you have any questions for either Greg or Glenn that you want me to pass along to them? Um, how are the floats doing? Are the flowers pretty much still intact? Are the, Glenn, Joey asks, are the flowers pretty much still intact? Uh, I guess I'm going to need some translation on that, Joey. I don't, uh, <laughs> on the floats. On the, on the floats. He says on the floats. <laughs> I don't know. Hold on. Hold on. Greg's making his way over here. Hold on. Well, we got a, uh, got a couple of very uh, special guests here. I want to quick want to say hi. Um, these guys are from Body Found. Oh, hi. What's your, what's your name? Uh, Greg Snyder. And your name is? My name is Ray. Hi, Ray. These guys are body found. We play you guys pretty often on a local anesthesia. How's it going tonight? Oh, it's going well. Tonight is quite a night here at the High Point. Yeah. I was going to interject real quick. You guys are playing here tomorrow night, right, with the Bishops? Right. We're playing here tomorrow night with the Bishops. Uh, it's going to be one hell of a good show tomorrow night, so come out and see us. Right, Greg? That's one heck of a big one show. One heck of a show. Oh, well, we can say it's a hell. Why not? One hell of a show, yeah. Tomorrow night is going to be a very cool alternative night here at the High Point. Well, you know, believe it or not, on uh, on KYMC's uh, Hot Wax Countdown, the Bishops are uh, uh, kind of raising the race. I mean, they were at uh, number 32 this week. Number 32 on Hot Wax Countdown with their uh, brand new Farewell, Farewell to Reason album. Uh, that's the Bishops, and you guys are going to be opening up for them about what time tomorrow night? We're going to start at uh, what? 10, uh, 10 o'clock? 9.30? 10 o'clock? 9.45. Well, come on down. Come early. Get the front rows and whatnot. Uh, tonight it's really packed. Tomorrow night, make sure that you make your way down to Body Found 
they're a great up-and-coming group. Um, tremendous. A lot of good stuff uh, coming from them. What the, what's, the, um, what's the word on some uh, new uh, recordings from you guys? Well, we'll, be, uh, we'll have uh, something coming out soon uh, within the next two months. A uh, eight-song, uh, what is it called? Eight-song album, maybe? Or uh, that's it, album. Yes, it's an album of, of your song. I love it. It works exactly. for me. Exactly. Yeah, it's going to be a uh, quite a good thing. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so that's tomorrow night down here at the High Point. And that's where we are broadcasting live from right now, which is on McCausland, right near Clayton and Skinker. Uh, Greg's making his way over right now to uh, another observation point. Uh, Greg, what else is going on over there? Greg, what else is going on over there? Um, I don't know. There seems to be a, uh, a small riot erupting. Glenn, uh, people throwing rocks and beer bottles at it. No, just kidding. Uh, just everybody's having a good time. It's, it's so loud and so crowded in here. You almost can't hear yourself think. It's incredible. I don't know if I've ever seen this many people at the high point. So, uh, I don't know. I'd call this night a success. Okay, well, that's, that's, that's Glenn, great. Glenn, look. Sweet meat's at the door, and they won't let them in. Barbecue them. <laughs> barbecue them. <laughs> they won't let sweet meat in. All right. That works. Holy cow. I can't, I can't, I can't believe this. I can't, I can't believe the front sweet door from where I'm at. Sweet meat made a appearance here, and they won't let them in. So, barbecue. Uh, I, I can't see the door from here, so I'll have to take your word for it. You know, Greg said you can't hear yourself think but I, uh, I I know that the uh, last time I was over there Dave near where you're at I could see you think you know those veins just bulging from your temple what else is going on over there man I don't know you where'd that blonde go Glenn she's <laughs> over your way I wanted her on the air but anyway we should uh, cut her back to you guys and uh, a little bit more music so, all right we're gonna throw it back to uh, Joey and Mike at the uh, studio right thanks a lot Dave sounds like a great time down there how's the Amico sign doing the Amico sign is still there. There's uh, some plans later on, but uh, I don't want to go into those right now in case the, uh, the police are listening. But, uh, <laughs> Somebody, okay, well, we won't go into it. Well, thanks a lot. We'll talk to you later. Talk to you later. Okay, Dave, Eric down at uh, the High Point. Along with Glenn and Greg. And, uh, and the blonde-haired girl. Apparently thousands and thousands of people hanging out down there. Obviously, you're not down there. You wouldn't be listening to the radio. Uh, we are off the edge, and we're going to provide or continue to provide the best in the harsher side of alternative. My name is Joey J, and this is brand new from Social Distortion. The song is called Bad Luck on KYMC, The Alternative.
Leaving Trains, Bleach in the Fish Tank, Alice Donut before that, Mrs. Hayes, Bad Religion, 21st Century Digital Boy, and started off with Social Distortion, Bad Luck, the brand new single from them. Uh, looking forward to a brand new Social Distortion CD coming out any day now. Actually, I have no idea when it's coming out. I'm just <laughs> just guessing. Um, you're listening to KYMC FM, by the way, Baldwin, St. Louis. The show is off the edge the harsher side of alternative. I'm Joey J. I'm Mike. Well, we don't usually do the last name thing. By the way, if anyone has a good uh, uh, radio name that goes with Mike, uh, let me know. We'll see if we we can use it. I I thought of a good name for uh, a KYMC DJ. What? The uh, MC of KY. (laughs) (laughs) You like that? Yeah. Is that to imply KY Jelly? Yeah, basically. uh, Well, that's all I could come up with. All right. Probably not useful then uh, for you, right? No. You don't want to use that? No. Anyway, um, obviously, since I was in L.A. for four weeks, I um, one of the reasons why I went out there was to buy a lot of music that you can't otherwise get in St. Louis record stores. And uh, so I, I stayed away from the mainstream and went to the uh, off-the-edge kind of record stores <laughs> and um, bought you know a bunch of compilations, a bunch of local L.A. bands, stuff you'd, you'd never get here. And so you'll be hearing a lot of that. <laughs> Please don't cough this way. Over the next few weeks, uh, over the next months um, on my show, of course, nobody else's because they're my discs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I brought about 100 of them back. So um, we'll be hearing a lot of uh, a lot of weird stuff uh, over the coming weeks. So looking look forward to that on KYMC. Right now I'm going to turn things over to Mike for the next 30 minutes. And uh, why don't you tell us a little bit what's coming up on Off the Edge, Mike? Well, I don't know, Joey. Why you put me on the spot? I know we got Leaving Trains coming up with uh, Rock and Roll Murder. That's a great song. I can't hear that song enough. This will be uh, the second Leaving Trains track we played for you tonight. The first one you just heard, as I said, was uh, Bleach in the Fish Tank. Something, uh, if you don't like your roommate, go ahead and uh, just take out that Clorox and pour it right in there. It tends to... uh, tends to clean out the fish's systems. Um, doesn't do much harm, really, does it, Mike? Uh, I don't think so. You know, go ahead and uh, pour that Clorox in the fish tank, and uh, it'll do wonders for your roommate's fish. Trust me, I know. <laughs> Is that so? Do you have any roommates, Joey? No. Nope. These are L.A. roommates that you've... Uh, these these are ex-L.A. roommates. You've and, murdered uh, your fish. Well, they're not my roommates anymore. Let's put it that way. Did you know that... Uh, you know, when you go to a place like, when you go to Florida, for example, and you see fish on the side of the road that says fresh fish, you know, stands? Fresh fish. Yeah, it's not always f- 
fresh. They bleach the fish sometimes. How do they do that? I think they, they add like ammonia to them or something and uh, to, to make the fish white. So don't necessarily assume that that fresh fish on the side of the road in Florida is fresh. That's fascinating. Unless you like eating ammonia or bleach or something. I don't know what it was. Well, they still have that ministry um, gas oil carton up on top of the it hasn't been end. taken home and put in somebody's car yet. Uh, I think I, I'll take it. <laughs> Your truck. What kind of... I'll, I'll put it in my truck. My Make truck sure needs right oil. Weight. Make sure it's the right weight. Right weight? Yeah. Is that how they measure oil in yeah, weight? 10 W40, 10 W30. That's how they measure um, Fruit Loops, too. By, uh, by weight, not volume. I know, because I get Fruit Loops all the time, mm-hmm. and they're kind of the contents have settled, and that always pisses me off. Yeah, it's like those bags of chips. When you open the bag of chips out of the machine, the contents have always settled, and like half of it's air. <laughs> my we digress. Mm-hmm. Five seven six nine five nine six is the number if you want to give us a call and say hi. Um, not necessarily to have a suggestion, but to just make us feel. You can make a suggestion though. Welcome. Oh, there's somebody on the phone right now. Should we take our first call in four weeks? Sure. Kimmick, you're on the air. This is KYMC. Right. Um, can you play? Uh, I can feel the rain on my face, or whatever it is by the alarm. Not, not now. We can't. This show is, is that like the rain in the summertime song? Is that what? Yeah, you mean? that's what he's talking about. I think you're talking about that that yeah. song about rain in the summertime. Uh huh. Yeah. See, this is a a hard show right now. That's not a very hard song. Uh, how about can you play something from Nirvana? We've already played Nirvana. Sorry, bud. Anything else you'd like to hear? Um, name something hard. <laughs> well, we're about to play the Leaving Trains with Rock and Roll Murder. All right, that's fine. Okay. Where are you calling from, by the way? Uh. I'm uh, uh, Benton. You don't Benton. know, huh? Uh-huh. Are you, you're not at Lorraine's house, are you? All right. No, <laughs> you're not at Lorraine's house, are you? You don't know who Lorraine is, do you? She's a DJ on this station. She lives in Fenton. And she usually calls us about now to give us a report on the Invisible Man, which she's been perpetually reading for the past six months. Oh, uh, okay. So what's your name? Uh, Mike Carter. Mike Carter. Yeah. And how old are you? 18. And how long you been listening to KYMC? All right. Uh, what's that? See you later. Why, why are you hanging up? I'm talking to you. It sounds like he's got a party to go to, Joey. Sounds like there's a party. Is that on. a party you got going over Shut there? Shut up! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right! Get mad! <laughs> Is that a party you got going? Get on. What? Are you guys listening to the radio? What? Do you know you're on the air right now? Oh, 